I got tricked into sleeping with someone. Yep, I got tricked into sleeping with someone. I'm being silly about it because humor is my coping mechanism, but do not be fooled by my jovial nature. It was traumatic. So gather around the campfire kids for a terrifying cautionary tale. Some time ago, I was filming in another country. I was single, my heart was freshly broken. I was hanging on by an emotional thread. So the opportunity to go focus on a movie, take my mind off of my insane pain, it was very welcome. Now on the first day of this film, there was an individual who sort of caught my eye, but like I'm not a big hat person. And he had this baseball hat on and it sounds really stupid, but I was like, wow, well, I don't know if he's like really cute or not because of this like hat. Maybe this means like I'm attracted to people's head shapes or like Humpty Dumpty, who knows? Either way, he looked weird with a hat and remember this detail, okay? It's very very important, it's gonna come back. The next day, he's not wearing the hat. I can confirm, he's very cute. My heart is in a thousand pieces, but I welcome any distraction from the searing pain of having it destroyed. So I flirt, he flirts, time goes by. And then one day after set, we go to a bar, we tell each other our whole life stories, and we start a little onset fling. But I caveat this fling with the warning. I just wanna be upfront with you. I'm not looking for anything serious. I've probably never said this, but I don't want a commitment. I'm just looking for something physical. I'm incredibly emotionally unavailable. If that's cool with you and we can have fun while we're here, great. If not, then maybe we should stop this now just to spare feelings. Okay, like thanks for letting me know. I'm actually totally cool with this just being a thing here. Wonderful. Well, let us fuck. Fast forward, okay? We're having a fun time. We're deepening our intimacy, both emotionally and physically. And when one day we were lying in bed together, naked, when he said, I have something to tell you, but I feel like it's creepy. Zoom in on my big, dumb, stupid face. What? Never mind. What, you can't just say you have something to tell me and you think it's creepy and then say never mind. Well, okay. I saw you in Ant-Man and then I looked you up and then I watched every single one of your videos and then I saw you were doing this movie and I thought, wow, she's really cute. And I reached out to the director on Instagram and I told her I'd work for free and fly myself out here. And then on the first day, I noticed that you didn't notice me. So I thought maybe it's my hat. And so then I took off my hat and you seemed to notice me. Okay, out of all of the above, the hat detail really freaks me out because he wasn't wrong. He may be a creep, but he was an attuned creep. Okay, back to his frightening admission. And then we met and then we fell in love and I thought, wow, this is meant to be. And I know you said you were just in this for the fling, but you feel it too, right? I know I've only ever dated Asian women my whole life, but this, this is different. Zoom in on my big, dumb, stupid face that is attached to my naked body in a locked hotel room with this man that nobody knows I'm with in another country. Now at this point, I do what every woman in my situation would do. Oh my God, that is crazy. I do my best to make sure that I get out of here alive. You know what? We have a really early morning tomorrow. I should, I should go to sleep now. Mm, I really creeped you out, didn't I? No, no. It's so sweet how you apparently became obsessed with me and then pushed yourself into my professional life and built a relationship with me predicated on the lie. <laughs> it's just like the movies, like, like horror, horror movies. Yeah, you know, I would have told you sooner, but I needed to make sure we fell in love. Oh my God. Obviously I made it out alive, but it really, it didn't end there, guys. He moved to LA and would apparently troll vegetarian restaurants that he knew I liked to try to run into me. It was, uh, it was and continues to remain to be terrifying. Yeah, you know, normally my videos have like a happy message at the end that like wraps up a relatable moral for us all to like take away and like feel good about. But today, today I'm just gonna warn you. People are scary, trust no one. Build really high walls and never let them down. Move to a mountain, live on a farm, build a cabin in the woods off the grid and never let a, another human being ever come near you because this, this is what could happen. I'm Anna Arcana, thank you to the patrons who supported today's video, and thank you as always to my daddy, Squarespace, for sponsoring today's episode. Daddy Squarespace makes it easy for creators to monetize their content and expertise in a way that fits your brand. With member areas, you can unlock a new revenue stream for your business and free up time in your schedule by selling access to gated content like videos, online courses, or newsletters. Plus, online booking and scheduling is available, making it easier than ever for clients to schedule classes or sessions as they have easy access to your availability and can reschedule online. Taking the 
the hassle out of coordinating calendars. If you're a content creator like myself using video, they have Video Studio, where you can create pro-level videos effortlessly. Their Video Studio app helps you make and share engaging videos so that you can tell your story, grow your audience, drive sales, drive fear. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and whenever you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com Anna to save 10% off your purchase of a website or domain. Bye-bye.